Uh, I'm Anders Lingeren from the Swedish Institute of Computer Science. In this demo we show how to use uh, the bundle protocol extension to uh, use information-centric networking and later learned networking together to distribute video content in remote areas. Okay, so our demo setup looks like this. We have three nodes. Quack is the video source that has all the content on it. Rudolf and Dasher are two uh, DTN nodes that are connected like this. Every, all the traffic to Dasher goes through Rudolf like that. And um, down here we have the actual nodes. This machine here is uh, Dasher. This machine is uh, Rudolf. And over here in this window on uh, this machine we can, we can see uh, what's happening on Quack as well. So um, in this uh, system we, are, we have a system for distributing video content over a DTN. Uh, the user interface looks like this. It's a, it's a web-based interface which is uh, uh, a list of the, the available video programs that you can uh, request from the, the video server. So um, just to show how this works, uh, let's start out by using this Rudolf machine and uh, requesting this particular program here. Uh, it's a program called Odasat. Uh, this is, the request is now being sent to the Quack machine, the video server. And over here uh, in the log from Quack, we can see that the request is received and then uh, sent back to uh, the requesting machine, Rudolf here. If we go back to the user interface, uh, we can uh, now see that this request is, is currently pending and uh, eventually uh, the program will uh, appear here in the in interface so we can be able to view it. And now it's, it's actually downloaded there and uh, we're able to view this, uh, this video program. Uh, when this was fetched from the video source to this machine, this machine actually caches it in its uh, uh, DTM protocol stack. So let's now try to uh, shut down the Quack machine. So now we've actually shut down the source, the, the video source that is hosting all the video files. Uh, meaning that there is nobody, it's not possible to send the request all the way to, to that machine. However, moving over here to the, to the Dasher machine, we will now try to uh, request this same piece of, of content Um, and uh, this is now sent to this is sent in the towards the, the original video source. However, that video source is of course no longer uh, connected to the network, so we're not able to deliver anything directly from that source. However, uh, this is then sent to the intermediate node to Rudolf, which looks in, the, in this uh, BPQ extension block, can see the name of the video content and finds it in its own cache. And as we can see now here, uh, now the video content has actually uh, been delivered to, to this Dasher node and we can uh, uh, view it here, even though the original source was never available. So we, we, this, this means that we were able to serve this request locally with this other machine connected here. This is uh, very useful for, for a network like a DTM where you often have the link to the internet, for example, can be very uh, limited and uh, you have very scarce resources like such as bandwidth. So you don't want to send big content like uh, video files multiple times over the same link. Uh, so that is one way to use uh, the BPQ extension of the bundle protocol to provide information-centric networking um, mechanisms in a delay tolerant network. Thank you for watching.